talking about a great problem. This is an excellent problem to really make sure that you're having a full grasp of everything that we've been talking about with as far as you know solving for your variable. So here what I have is k minus 3k equals 6 times k plus 5 minus 8 times k. So whew, remember when solving equations what we want to do is we want to find the value of our variable that's going to make our equation true. And to find that value we only need one variable and to say, all right, the value of my variable is equal to this number, this value. Well, here I have one, two, th four k's. I have four variables. So what I need to do is I need to somehow see if I can combine these together. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try to simplify the left and the right side of my equation. And then I'll use my reverse order of operations to uh, see if I can solve. So I look on the left side. Is there anything I can do to simplify this? Well. These are going to be like terms since they're both k. Um, I can, since they both have k factors, I can combine these. So k minus 3k is a negative 2k equals 6k plus 5 minus 8k. Now, it might not be relatively apparent that you say, oh, um, I can uh, combine the 6k and the negative 8k. Well, one thing you might want to use is maybe use the commutative property of addition to rewrite the 5 plus 6k minus 8k. So by rewriting, you could see, oh, all right, these are like terms. They both have k as a factor. Therefore, I can combine them. So to have a negative 2k equals 5 minus 2k. Now again, I still don't have my k by itself, right? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get the k's onto one side. Well, I have the k on the left and the right side. If I get rid of this 2k on the left side, I'll just be left with 0. But remember, our whole purpose is to isolate a k. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the one on the right side. And it doesn't really matter, actually, which side you get rid of. But I'm going to choose to get rid of the right side. And what I have is 0 equals 5. So then I start thinking to myself, does 0 equal 5? And that's false, right? So I tried to solve. I tried to get a k equals 0, but it didn't happen, right? I actually eliminated all my k's. So I'm not going to get exactly one solution for this problem. I actually have no solution. There's no value that I say k is equal to. Um, the other way you can take a look at this is let's plug in a value of k. Let's think about, let's say k is 1. Or it actually doesn't even matter. If I take in 1, oh, let's try it. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's do k is 1. So if I plug in k as negative 1, on the left side, I have negative 2 times 1, which is just going to be negative 2. Well, on this right side, what am I doing? I'm taking 5, and I'm minusing it 2 times 1. Well, 5 minus 2 times 1 equals 3. Again, that does not equal each other. So therefore, there's actually no solution to this problem. It doesn't matter what value I plug in for k. I'm not doing the same operations on the left and the right side for me to get an um, equivalent equation. Therefore, there's no solution. Thank you.